Hi, I'm uh, Jason Rhino, editor of uh, Job Postings Magazine, and we're just in uh, we're in the KPMG building in downtown Toronto on Bay Street, and we're just waiting for Bill Thomas to join us so we can ask him a few questions. Um, but I just thought while we're waiting, we could get a quick shot of uh, the amazing view over here. It's a really beautiful building, state of the art, um, and quite fantastic. So. Uh, so yeah, you're welcome, and enjoy the interview. Through KPMG, you've worked in various positions, such as in audit services, uh, then as office managing partner, then taking the lead as deputy CEO, and now you're currently CEO and senior partner. Why do you think you were able to climb that ladder, and why were you chosen over other candidates? Well, I, I don't think you climb the ladder necessarily. I think uh, what happens is, I had some great mentors who gave me some great opportunities, and um, I think if you ever tried to, if you ever tried to manufacture a uh, you know a progression through an organization, I think I, I think it never happens that way. But I happen to be frankly in the right place at the right time with uh, the right people supporting me, and that's probably more than anything else the reason why I uh, escalated through those positions. What do you think was the most difficult part of making those transitions, and how did you overcome them? They were all different. Um, you know, early on, difficult part of making the transition was you were young, and the team you were uh, you were responsible for included a number of partners that were uh, a lot older than me, and earning their respect, frankly, and and engaging them as uh, as peers, and recognizing that we were all on the same team was probably a very difficult piece of it. Um, obviously, the move to uh, Toronto to be the deputy CEO came with a whole different set of challenges, not the least of which was moving my family here and you know uh, relocating to a big city and the big smoke and all that goes with that. So, after graduating from the University of British Columbia uh, with a degree in bioorganic chemistry, it's not an uncommon move for a science student to do that. What skills as a science student do you feel enabled you to move into and through the CA program? Well, you know, it's an interesting question because uh, for me, I, I really do believe if I had it to do over again, I wouldn't change a thing, which is interesting because most people would say, well, you would have pursued the CA route right away as opposed to sort of after getting your undergrad degree. And the way I always uh, sort of articulate it to individuals is I actually think university teaches you how to think. Even if I had uh, taken a, uh, like an accounting degree, by the time I, I got to the firm, half the debits and credits that I learned in the technical accounting classes that I took in university would have changed by virtue of the change in the standards and the rules and all that goes with that. What university, in my mind, does is really teach you how to use your brain and every day you know, logically thinking through critical problems, analyzing big problems and making them into small problems that you can sort of break down and, and address. All of those skill sets, I don't care whether you take science, arts, whatever you take within a university, that's what university does in my mind, teaches you how to think.